So how cool is this? We're here at Taronga Zoo, Sydney, in the koala enclosure with the koalas. Fantastic opportunity for taking photographs and uh, challenging light though. We've got backlighting, meaning that when we look up at the koala, we've got bright sky behind us. So that's going to be our challenge. Big trick, try and get something in the background that covers up the bright sky so you don't have a problem afterwards. But when you do, back in post-production, we've got a few little tricks we can show you. I couldn't wait, so I've come along, I've inserted my SD card into my Wacom Mobile Studio Pro and I found a quiet little spot just to sit down and see how I've gone. So when I start with my image, we look at whether we've got highlights and shadows and our histogram will tell us whether we've got problems. And you can see in this image, you know, I do have some light areas which I'm going to have to deal with. One of the quickest ways of seeing whether we can fix it up is to use the contrast slider. So I'm just going to grab the contrast slider and move it down to the left, which decreases contrast, and sometimes this just brings in a little bit of tonality. What we want to avoid is having bleached out whites and really clagged up blacks. We want to have a nice distribution of tones for a good, strong image. And so reducing the contrast is the quickest and easiest way to achieve that. If contrast doesn't quite fix it, then we can also look at adjusting the tonality individually. By that I mean lightening up the shadows and darkening down the highlights. Too bright a background in the, in, the, in the koala shop, let's grab the highlights, drag it down to the left, whites down a little bit, and when it looks good on screen, you've got it, pretty easy. Deep shadows, maybe you want to lighten up the koala itself, just grab those blacks, lighten them up a fraction, get the shadows and move them up as well. If you've got a good screen like you've got here on the Wacom, the information it's giving you is good information, it's accurate. Sometimes we look at screens which are very contrasty, it's hard to know what you're doing. So a good screen is really important when you get into your post-production. One of the coolest things about post-production is being able to lighten and darken things separately. So I can darken down the whole picture so my background looks right and then I can use an adjustment brush and I can paint in some lightness. Let me show you what I mean. So we're looking at the overall exposure. I'm darkening down my koala and the background till it looks pretty good. I'm then grabbing my adjustment brush. I make it a nice soft adjustment brush. I lighten up the exposure and then I paint over just the koala bear. And this is why I love the pen. I can just paint over the koala bear, not the background, and I'm lightening up the image and it looks magic. So I hope these tips have been helpful. Remember, photography is two steps, capture and post-production. I'm Peter Eastway.